All right, when you first start up the device, you wanna go ahead and use the app and connect it to the phone. And you're gonna do that using their in-house Wi-Fi. And you wanna go ahead and update the firmware when it asks you to update the firmware so you can get out some of the bugs they've worked out and some of the updates that they have. Now I found this app to be a little bit laggy when it comes to the video and the view, the live view. Now when I use my Canon app, it uses NFC and it works a, a lot better and I don't have as much lag. Maybe that's the problem, maybe it's my camera. I have an SL2 by 600 camera, $600 camera. Maybe it works better with higher end cameras and it's not so laggy. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into the exposure bracketing. Now, like I said before, it's gonna take three photos at different apertures. Actually, in this device, you could take up to like, I think it's like 12 or something, a bunch of them of different exposures and stack them on top of each other. I'm gonna leave the settings exactly how they are when they come. And after you do that and you hit the start, it's gonna go ahead and start focusing the whole scene. See, now the problem with this is it takes a little bit of time to focus that whole scene. So if you're trying to get an animal or something like that, this ain't what it's for. This is this would be for just a scene. Not, you know, you want a, a perfect picture of a scene, this is one of them things that will do it. Uh, after it does that, once it gets to their aperture and starts taking the photos, it's actually really quick, as you can see on screen here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the photos up right here. It's gonna go ahead and give you a really, really bright picture. Then it's gonna give you about that medium and then that kind of low. And then what it's gonna do is stack them all together and give us our final photo. And while I was out there, I just wanted to kind of compare it and make sure you tell me below what you think about that photo that the Arsenal took. I took this in kind of a shady area to kind of challenge it a little bit to see what it can do. And I also switched mine to manual and kind of seeing what I can do. And as you can see through the device, the drone is actually, you can see the drone a lot more. It's a lot more pronounced, a lot more brighter. Mine's kind of dark. Now, like I said, also it could depend on the camera. It could. could depend on your lens everything that you're using to kind of see you know if it works better with a higher quality camera maybe but these are the results I got I also took it out to the lake in a sunny area to kind of see how that would work and I'll leave the photos up here comparing the two and right here is the photo that the camera took and then I'll also show you the photo right here that the arsenal took that was a pretty bright sunny day so you know both of them had kind of a challenge I didn't have no ND filters on it but if you think this thing is worth $200 let me know in the comments below make sure you let me know what you think about the photos if the device did a good job um, you know, this is all I kind of really tested it on. It's been not raining and stuff like that, seeing how it is kind of spring, getting into the summer. So make sure you let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up so I know if you like this video, if you want to see some other features on this device, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that video or any other ones I bring. And y'all have a great day. Peace.